Okay, so today I'm going to analyze this 16 volt 6 resistor series uh, to find the total current, the total resistance, and the individual current and voltage at each one of the resistors. Remember, our first thing is to redraw the circuit as though it were lines. So we break the battery in half and we redraw it in lines. So, and just to make sure that my redrawing is correct, I start at the 16 volt source. I go to, to junction 1 where I have the choice to go through either resistor 1 or 2, rejoining at junction 2. The electricity moves to junction 3 where it has a choice of splitting between resistor 4 or 3, rejoining it at junction 4, around the corners here to junction 5 where it can pass through either resistor 5 or 6, rejoining at junction 6 onto the end of the battery. Remember, what I'm trying to do is crush it down to one resistor that does the same work as all six of these resistors. And here, if you look at the top row, well, these are all in series. So the series uh, equation says I can just add them up. So that's a 3, a 2, and a 2. So that's a, a single 7 ohm resistor. And the bottom row is also in series, so that's a 3 ohm, 2 ohm, and 1 ohm, so that's a 6 ohm resistor. So I can redraw these as the top being a single 7 ohm and the bottom being a single 6 ohm resistor. And now these two are in parallel, so I can simply add those up. 7 plus 6 is 13. So it's my equivalent resistor is 13 ohms. I have a 16 volt battery. Now I can use Ohm's law to solve for current and get that there's 1.2 amps flowing through this circuit. So now I'm about halfway done. I'll go ahead and fill out my chart. I'll put the 13 ohms and the 1.2 amps in there. And then this one resistor was actually two in parallel. That means I get to take my 1.2 amps back up and apply it to those two in parallel. And then I just get to solve for voltage. Voltage is current times resistance, so 1.2 times 7 is 8.4 and 1.2 times 6 is 7.2 volts. All right, and now if you look at the top resistor here, it was actually these three in series. So that means I get to take my 1.2 amps up to all three of those. And the bottom one was 1.2 amps, so I get to take my amps to all three of the bottom row. And then I get to solve for voltage. And remember, voltage is current times resistance, so 1.2 times 3, 1.2 times 2, 1.2 times 2 again, times 3, times 2, and then 1.2 times 2. And now I get to fill out my chart. Uh, resistor 1 is 1.2 amps and 3.6 volts. Resistor 2 is 1.2 amps and 3.6 volts. 1.2 and 2.4 for resistor 3, 1.2 and 2.4 for resistor 4, and on down the line. And that's how you analyze a simple compound circuit.